crack the mysteries of the Earth. Discover the energy that drives a planet and builds mountains. Uncover buried treasure and see what makes mountains blow. Find out what shapes the top of the Earth and explore the secret world below with me, Nick, on the rocks. Is it true that a chunk of Washington broke free and slid to Oregon less than 600 years ago, collapsing the north wall of the Columbia River Gorge and creating a huge lake? Yes, that's Table Mountain right there. You can see where that mountain split, broke and slid down to dam the Columbia River. The Bridge of the Gods. This is Cascade Locks, Oregon, at the heart of the gorge, where the river passes through the center of the Cascade Mountains. Majestic waterfalls plunge down the steep walls of the Oregon side of the river with the historic Columbia River Highway winding its way through dense forests. The river is choked down here. It's nowhere near this narrow anywhere else in the gorge. Why? As Lewis and Clark approached this part of the gorge in 1805, Clark noted thousands of fresh-looking, partially submerged trees in the Columbia River. A submerged forest with trees up to 25 feet tall. And Lewis and Clark were about to encounter a set of rocky rapids. The Great Chute, they called it. The Cascades of the Columbia, represented here by artist Charles Fritz. Swift, perilous rapids navigated by the Corps of Discovery in wooden boats. But where did this rocky pinch point in the river come from? Centuries earlier, Native Americans at this very spot spoke of a land bridge, the Bridge of the Gods, connecting Washington with Oregon on foot. You could cross the Columbia River without getting your feet wet. Why? There was no river coming through here. There was a complete blockage by the Bonneville landslide. So what happened here? What caused a mountain to split and crash down into the Columbia River? Tilting bedrock layers and heavy rain is the answer. Thick layers of basalt bedrock, lava flows from eastern Washington lie directly on top of softer, slippery clay beds. The heavy rains here penetrate the cracked basalt rock layers and concentrate in tilted clay layers, creating a well-greased skidboard, ripe for slope failures and big landslides. The Bonneville landslide pushed the river a mile south toward Oregon. Geologist Jim O'Connor and colleagues continue to zero in on the exact date of the Bonneville landslide, the Bridge of the Gods. And what we know or think we know so far is that this landslide occurred sometime between 1425 and 1450 AD. Um, a lake formed behind the landslide dam. The, the landslide completely blocked the Columbia River. The lake was maybe close to 300 feet deep. It spilled over, but at some point, it breached the landslide dam. And recently discovered sediment on the sea floor suggests there may have been a large earthquake in the mid 1400s. Could that have been the trigger for the Bridge of the Gods landslide? Today, the rapids, as well as most of the Cascades locks and canal are underwater, drowned in 1938 by the reservoir behind Bonneville Dam. The Bridge of the Gods was here almost 600 years ago, but how many more landslides were here in the last couple of million years? And when will the next big landslide happen? 